Hi, welcome to Tutorials Point. Photoshop gives us this amazing stack of filters so you can apply it to your image and have amazing effects. So let's move on and understand the filters. Filters are predefined effects that can be applied to your image. It's available in the menu panel. You'll see that filter and you select that and you will have an array of filters. You, we can have the blur filters and um, there are a long list of filters which we're going to go to once we start the video. Now, the filter gallery gives us amazing filters like the neon filter, the pixel filter. We can, a filter is best used when we apply a blending mode or a layer mask. So the effect of filters are best utilized. So like personally, when I use filters, you will not see amazing effects, but yes, these filters can be converted for amazing effects by using the blending modes and the layer mask. And also, we have the facility of stacking the filters one above the other. So let's move ahead and dive into Photoshop and see the use of filters. Filters are some predefined effects that are given to us by Photoshop and we have a separate feature, a separate menu. And we have various filters here. We have the distort, we have the noise filter, the render, the sharpen. So you can go ahead, maybe if there's a, you know, there's a shake, uh, there was a shake and you can go ahead and you can, you know, reduce that. You can use, reduce the blur that's available. You can also, you know, smooth it a bit. So we can also, so this is not a very blurred image, but you could go ahead and, you know, make it more sharpened by using the sharpen filter. Okay. That will give you a more sharpened image. Also, you can go to filters and apply the stylize. You can go ahead and have an oil paint image and you can reduce it if you want a lesser oil paint. And okay, so you could create an oil painting from your filters and this is an oil painting that we have. Again, you can go to filter and you can go to stylize and do emboss. And if I have this and you will have okay so you will have a little emboss like there so you have a couple of features if you ask me filters you can have your better filters if you're going for uh, you know direct adjustments rather than going the filter now if i have this image and i wish to blur it now the blur filter again is handy and i want to blur it so i can use any of these blur and i can use a gaussian blur blur and use it now let me just first select this girl. I'm going to go to the quick selection tool and quickly select this girl. What I want in this image that this girl has more focus and the adjustment areas are blurred. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do control shift I and I'm going to inverse my selection and now I will apply the blur tool. I go to filter and go to blur and use the Gaussian blur. Okay. And did you see the difference? Suddenly, the rest of the areas have been blurred and my women is so clear and crisp. Again, we have a couple of blurs available. If you want to apply a motion blur, a radial, a shape blur. So we have these many blurs and the most commonly used is the Gaussian blur. Again, we have the, uh, the sharpen, the pixelate. You want to add more pixelate. We have these options. So it's just about you play around and you could find a nice filter right there. I hope you have enjoyed filters in Photoshop.